What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? All right. Uh, before I begin the video, I just want to apologize. I know I told uh, everybody from my last stream that I'm going to be streaming this morning. And guys, I started working yesterday. Yesterday was my first day of work. I got home at around 5.30, 6 in the morning, and I didn't wake up till about an hour ago, hour and a half, around 12.30 p.m., and I had told people, I told everybody I'm going to stream at 11 a.m. And now, I'm actually going to get ready and go back to work. So, uh, whatever. It's actually pretty cool, uh, my new job. I told everybody I'm going to be driving a cab in New York City. And I met quite a few people yesterday. It was actually pretty funny, man. You know, maybe we'll do like a taxi cab confession type of thing one day. But, uh... Uh, another thing we're going to talk about is I'm going to do the, another, I have to start getting rid of some of these accounts because now I piled up, I've got about five accounts to give away. The next account I'm going to give away, this is not the video to put it into though, I'm telling you right now. Uh, I will put up the screenshots in the video and tell you exactly how to get into the giveaway and how to do it, but my next stream is probably going to be saturday morning once i get out of work I, that's pretty much the only way i can see myself streaming guys is once i get out of work and i get home i can stream there's no other way i see i see it happening uh because for me to wait a few hours i'm gonna end up falling asleep and i need my sleep because i'm gonna be driving all night so um another thing is we didn't do guild wars this week we didn't sign up for guild wars all right uh cold steel had something going on and he couldn't sign us up and whatever. It's not a big deal, to be honest with you guys. I want to be T. So Saturday morning, I didn't be TOA hard on Tuesday. So Saturday morning when I stream, I'm not 100% sure what time it's going to be Saturday morning. Just look out for it. It's going to be sometime between 4 and 6 o'clock in the morning, a.m., New York time. Just look out for it. I'm going to try completing uh, TOA hard. There's also free rune, rune removal that day, so... I really don't have too many runes to move around other than four monsters that I'm going to be using for TOA hard. And let's move on with the video now. We're going to talk about will runes for attackers. All right. Now, the only reason why I'm talking about this is because the last time I made a will rune video, I only talked about monsters that were really support monsters. But from experience, I've learned that will runes aren't that bad on attackers either and i'm going to tell you why i'm going to give a few reasons why all right now if you have a monster like perna or theomars which everybody has theomars right now they have passives like this okay where like theomars you can't kill him in one turn you have to you have to trigger his endure let him go or debuff his endure and then you kill him all right now here's the deal though you can also use it on attackers such as Beth, who doesn't have this passive, or Sigmaris. Another great, great, great example is Perna. Perna would actually be pretty good on Will Ruins. Why? All right. First, let's talk about the attackers. First, let's talk about the attackers. All right. Some, someone like Hua or someone like... Uh, Yep, yeah, or the the water samurai. Where's the water samurai? Kaz. I'm guessing he's in storage, but anyway, that's besides the point. Or Beth. All right. It's not so bad to have will ruins on them. Why? Because sometimes you end up, and I'm telling you, this has happened to me quite a bit. I'm sure you've seen my Guild Wars videos. You're gonna end up dealing with a Darian that's pretty fast. That's faster than your attacker. And he ends up attacking your he ends up attacking your attacker, armor breaks them, and sometimes violent procs a second time and kills him. And will ruins have actually saved my butt, my behind, all in a lot of instances because of that. Reasons being for monsters like Theomars and Perna is so you can't reset their passives because their passives can be reset you would have to take an extra turn to reset their passives. Especially if you have them on defense, I would put them on will runes. It's not only for defense, 
it actually works out pretty well for offense. And really this is for people that are starting to farm dragons and they end up getting runes instead of getting hit point percentage runes. They're getting these crazy attack percentage runes. It's really not so bad to put a, to put a set of will runes on an attacker. I would definitely suggest that... Now look, when you, do, when you are putting will runes on, you're giving something up. So, just remember that. Like my Theomars, I have 60% crit rate, but... It works for him because he has the passive and then the elemental advantage. But he has a nice set of wool runes on him. As you can see, speed plus 11, attack plus 13%. This rune can be a little better. And then I have this rune on him. All right. So I would definitely consider wool runes on some of my attackers. Not all of them, you know, because sometimes you're going to end up with a tanky attacker. Though those, you're not going to get too shotted. But on your squishy attackers, wool runes aren't so bad. Because, as I said, people tend to have armor breaks on their defenses, and sometimes they end up going fast, and whatever the case is, you know. Sometimes you end up with teams where they have Bernard on defense, and lately Bernard has been buffing a lot on defense, and then they have, like, Tyron, Bernard, Zyros, and they don't have a, they don't have a buff stripper. If you end up having Wilt Ruins with all that, and Bernard buffs, and the entire team goes before them, they're going to end up not killing you, because... You have will ruins if you get and if the Zyros doesn't hit you for like for like 25k, but usually on water monsters it's not going to happen, you know. So, and maybe they have like an armor breaker like lure or something, you know, and their armor breaker doesn't end up hitting you hitting your monsters with uh, getting armor break on your monsters with will ruins on them. So I would definitely consider that, and that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching uh look out for the next video tomorrow i'm going to do, it's going to be a giveaway video and saturday morning we will be streaming that's a definite once i get out of work i'm not 100 percent sure what time it's going to be but once i get out of work and come home i will be streaming have a good one everybody